Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History and a few other books as well. Where am I taking you to today? Well, I'm taking you to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 19th of February, 1592, the Rose Theatre, an Elizabethan playhouse, was opened on Bankside in London. In 1585, London businessman and property developer Philip Henslow leased a tenement and gardens known as the Little Rose. In 1587, with the help of grocer John Chumley and carpenter John Griggs, Henslow built the Rose Theatre, which opened in 1592. The Rose Theatre website tells of how not much is known about the theatre between 1587 and 1592, but we have records from 1592 when Henslow started to keep an account book, Henslow's Diary. In that same year, Henslow's stepdaughter married Edward Allen, a well-known actor who moved his group of actors, made up from the Admiral's Men and Lord Stranger's Men acting groups, to the Rose Theatre. The theatre was then enlarged for this troupe of actors and the extra spectators who'd come to see them. Henslow's diary and Edward Allen's papers from the College of God's Gift, Dulwich College, which he founded in 1619, record not only the expenditure involved in extending the Rose Theatre and its upkeep, but also the plays that were staged there, the number of spectators, and also the props and costumes used. From these records, we know that the Rose Theatre's repertory included Shakespeare's Henry VI Part I and Titus Idronicus, Kidd's Spanish Tragedy, and Marlowe's Dr Faustus, the Jew of Malta, and Tamburlaine the Great. In 1594 to 96, the Swan Theatre was built, followed by the Globe Theatre in 1599. These rival theatres adversely affected the popularity of the Rose. When in June 1600 the Privy Council decreed that only two theatres would be allowed to stage plays, that is the Globe Theatre and the Fortune Theatre, which was also built by Henslow and Allen, the Rose Theatre began its decline and was abandoned by 1605, if not earlier. In 1988, the demolition of a 1950s office block meant that the site of the Rose Theatre could be investigated. And in 1989, a campaign to save the Rose was launched by Lord Olivier, actor Laurence Olivier. In May 1989, archaeologists from the Museum of London were successful in uncovering two thirds of the Rose Theatre's ground plan. As well as giving vital information on how the Rose Theatre was built and how it would have looked, the site gave up over 700 precious Elizabethan artefacts coins, fragments of the money boxes used to collect entrance money, tokens, hazelnut shells from the nuts eaten by the Elizabethan audiences, and jewellery. The articles found are now kept at the Museum of London. I'll give you a link to a documentary about the Rose Theatre and also a link to the Rose Theatre website to find out more. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 19th of February, 1547, King Edward VI had his coronation procession through the streets of London. And you can find out more about it in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to as well. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe by clicking that button right there. Uh, you can, of course, hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. You can give me a thumbs up, a like, and leave a comment as well. I really do appreciate you following me. Take care. Bye-bye.